Hi, I'm Rowan McKenzie, founder of Shakespeare and Bard, some in-prison theatre companies operating across different prisons in England. I'm here to talk to you today about Shakespeare and why it's still just as relevant today as it ever has been. I think sometimes because of the language we might feel that Shakespeare's not for us, maybe it doesn't speak to the things that we're concerned about, but I absolutely think it does. And to illustrate that I really wanted to use um, a, a speech from Shylock from The Merchant of Venice where he talks about the way that actually we're not so different as human beings and maybe if we concentrated a little bit more on those similarities, a little bit less on those differences, we might have less issues going on in the world. I think that's really relevant today, uh, possibly more so than it's ever been in, in many ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first read Shylock's original speech and then I'm going to talk to you about how we adapted it uh, in the Gallowfield Players, which is one of the theatre companies that I have the privilege to be the artistic director for. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million, laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, called my friends and heated mine enemies. And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes, hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be by Christian example? Why revenge? The villainy you teach I will execute and shall go hard, but I will better the instruction. So that's Shylock talking about the, the, the issues of being hated for his religion and being shunned for being a Jew. When we took this into HMP Gartry as part of the Gallowfield Players, um, and the men chose that this was what they wanted to work on. They chose this play because they wanted to talk about stigma in society, but not because of religion. Instead, talking about how having received a sentence, having been a, a previously convicted individual, really stays with you for life, and that stigma lives on in society. So they chose this play, um, and all the decisions are made collaboratively in our theatre company. There's 16 of us, and the other 15 are inmates serving sentences. They chose to make Shylock speak these words. I care not for the flesh of men, so what indeed should I use it for then? It can be fed to the sharks or to the swine. I care not as long as I get what is mine. You all mocked me behind my back instead of facing me. They're stones you lack. I could have much lessened my sentence by talking aloud of all your offences. But a grass I am not and never will be. Instead of respect, your scorn I receive. There's not so much difference between myself and you. Indeed, do we not eat the very same food, breathe the same air, feel the same breeze that blows through our hair? If you prick me, do I not bleed? If you tickle me, do I not laugh? And if you poisoned me, would I not die? Well then, tell me, pray, tell me why you think that the revenge you would surely seek if you were wronged should not be the same for me. I should learn vengeance from you and your brother, famed for your wickedness in both humour and action. Therefore I shall take the flesh that was promised me, that is right, that, that is mine, by right and by bond. So Charlotte was there speaking out to uh, a mixed audience of, of family members, of staff members, of invited guests, and using Shakespeare's language to highlight just how, whether somebody's had a conviction or not, doesn't make them less of a person, doesn't change who they are fundamentally. Um, and I think really for me, Shakespeare gives people a voice and I really hope that you can use the English Speaking Union's Festival of Speaking to find your voice, to speak some words, to get your thoughts heard. So go on, give it a go. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.